everybody, Macy here. So now that I am nearing the end of my second year of college, I decided to create a video on a few of the college myths that I initially believed and learned were definitely wrong. So if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Macy, basically the department store but with an I, and I upload DIY and lifestyle videos most Sundays. So before I start rambling on, please give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started. So first off, the freshman 15. So if you're unfamiliar with what the freshman 15 actually is, basically it's this kind of thing that supposedly during your first year of college, you'll gain 15 pounds. Honestly, from my perspective, I think you might even lose weight during college. First off, you might not even be able to afford to eat out a lot. And number two, most colleges do have a gym on campus, which is kind of like a way for you to lose weight, you know? <laughs> And on the opposite side of the spectrum, you might even gain weight, which is totally fine. But as long as you don't eat a ton of fast food every single day and actually try to eat a little bit healthier and exercise a little bit, I really don't think you're gonna gain that much weight. Everyone graduates in four years. Now, depending on where you go to college and how much AP or IB or community college credit you're bringing in, you may graduate earlier or later. And it also depends on impacted classes, such as whether your class that you're trying to get into is full or they just don't offer that prereq in that semester. I mean, where I go, it's actually common to graduate in five years. AP exams give you college credit. Again, this depends on the school. As I said in the previous myth, um, my school actually does accept AP credits, but other schools, mainly I would say competitive schools like Ivy Leagues, are more likely to not accept the credit because you should have been taking AP exams and why would they award you for taking that when you should have been taking it, if that makes sense. <laughs> Everyone uses a laptop to take notes. Now, I don't know about you, but whenever I'm watching a movie or a TV show and it's in a college setting, most of the time, the students are taking notes on their laptop. What I realized when I went to my college, most people actually use a regular notebook. Now, there are a few students who do use a laptop to take notes, but some professors may not even allow you to use a laptop, mainly because they think you're gonna go on social media. Sororities and fraternities are for people who don't care about college. Actually, a lot of sororities and fraternities do have GPA requirements. I believe it's above a 3.0. I could be wrong. Some of them even work with philanthropies such as fundraising for certain causes. I know one of them is for Children's Hospital. Even joining one is really good when it comes to networking. I mean, imagine knowing all of these people from your campus and if there are a lot of sister or brother sorties fraternities in different campuses, you have something to talk about. From what I've seen and those whom I've interacted with that are in Greek life, they're actually really great and pretty studious. I mean, honestly, I would have rushed for a sortie, but I can't afford the $1,000 fee every semester, so yeah. It's hard to get scholarships. Now, I'm not saying it's easy, but it's only hard if you don't put in the effort of trying to apply for them. You have no idea how many scholarships are being unclaimed because there are not enough eligible students applying for them. Besides the usual scholarships that you would find online, like on FastWeb or Scully, you should also apply to major or department-specific scholarships at your college. You can skip classes. Now, Again, it depends on the professor. You can see the common theme around here. Some professors may not take attendance and they probably don't even care if you attend their classes, while others may take role on random days just to make sure that you actually come in every day because you don't know if they're gonna take attendance. But if you think about it, why skip classes if you're paying for them? You know, just, just something to think about. You have more time in college. Now, just because you technically have less classes to take 
doesn't mean you have more time. Being in college means that you're studying more than the time that you are in class. In addition to that, you're going to have to participate in extracurriculars and maybe attend panels or events just to network and find an internship or a job. Even then, because college is expensive, you might have to take a part-time job just to make money. So in a way, you really don't have that much time in college because you have a lot more responsibilities. Next, it's best to take your general ed classes ASAP. Now this is my opinion and others may think it's best to take them as soon as possible, but I don't. So from my standpoint, I think it is best if you take your GEs throughout your college years. Mainly so you're not stuck with all upper level classes in one semester. Because if you have your GE spread out and let's say one semester you have half upper level classes and half GEs, it's technically a little bit easier and you may be able to focus more on your upper level classes. And finally, the only campus jobs available are baristas and etc. Now, I don't know about you, but I thought that campus jobs only applies to the bookstore, maybe some of the occasional coffee shops, some food areas on campus, and that's it. Now I'm assuming this applies to all colleges, but you can pretty much get a job in anything on campus, even if it relates to your desired field. Now I know for sure that the campus newspaper at my school, there are paid positions. Same thing with office work, like if you're at the library or even if you're the receptionist at the office of your college department. Campus tour guides are for sure a paid position and it also re looks really good on your resume. There are even graphic designers for our associated students, personal trainers at the campus gym. As I said, there's pretty much a job for anything, you just have to look for it. So that is basically it for this week's video, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, as well as turn on that little bell so you can turn on my notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Hope to see you guys next time, bye!